And that's the tea. The iced peach green tea. Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Tea Tuesday. You guys absolutely loved the episode that we did two weeks ago, so of course we are back talking more Disney tea. I'm not gonna lie, the first episode was way more tea drama heavy than this episode is going to be. However, we're still gonna be discussing all the things happening within the Disney community, the good, the bad, the Christmassy, some topics that we're gonna be covering today. Disney Plus, it's here, it's arrived. How many people ended up subscribing to it and what are some of the problems that people have been having? YouTuber Spokesmain, who is very well known for the Old Town Road video that he did in the Disney parks, he has recently been outed for abusing his girlfriend and also some financial things as well. Holiday decor has arrived in the Disney parks. And finally, the Frozen soundtrack was released. At the end of the video, we're also going to be talking a major update in the week previously. So first, right off the bat, what is everyone talking about? Disney Plus. Disney Plus has now reached over 10 million subscribers. It hasn't even been out for a week yet. It is crazy the number of people who are talking about Disney Plus, who are subscribing to Disney Plus. Everyone has Disney Plus, whether it be Disney fans, everyone on the street, everyone is getting Disney Plus. Now, of course, there was big anticipation for this service. So the day that it was actually released, it crashed. For most of the day, Disney Plus was actually unavailable to many users. There were constant problems, constant page refreshes. There seemed to be just an endless number of issues people were having. Disney has since fixed those issues. Disney Plus seems to be running up and normal. Other things making news about Disney Plus is some people seem offended that Disney has put warnings about culturally sensitive content up before classic movies such as Dumbo. Now, there's a bunch of different perspectives on this. Some people are saying these warnings aren't needed whatsoever. A lot of people watch these films as a kid, they're fine. Other people are saying these warnings are a really great compromise to what the film's content is. And other people are saying these movies just shouldn't exist on the platform whatsoever, or the scenes that are culturally sensitive should be taken out of them. Another problem Disney Plus actually just fixed today is that there was no resume feature. So as I'm sure you're aware on Netflix, you can watch like 10 episodes at a time, leave and come back where you left off. Well, with Disney Plus, people were watching episodes of TV shows, having to remember where they left off and then go and find that episode to watch it. There was no just resume button. Disney Plus has since added that. It started getting implemented into people's accounts this morning. Also, a lot of people are complaining that classic Disney shows are out of order. The episodes are just not in the order they should be. Someone wasn't paying enough attention. They're kind of all over the place. I'm sure Disney is working behind the scenes to get this fixed, but it is an ongoing issue with many different shows. Many people also assumed that this streaming service would be free to cast members. However, Disney Plus is actually only free to Verizon customers if they are with that service. Otherwise, you will have to pay for it. Cast members get the choice between getting a free main entrance pass to the parks or getting Disney Plus. Now, in Florida, this seems outrageous. Why would you give up your main entrance pass for Disney Plus? That doesn't make any sense. People were fuming about it. Why don't we get this free? Like, what kind of deal is that? They know no one's gonna choose that. When in reality, no, probably no one in Florida is going to choose that if they go to the parks a lot. However, you have to think of the Disney Store cast members, the Disney Cruise Line cast members. They don't get to go to the parks all the time. A lot of people who work up in the Disney stores, you know, more north in Canada here, don't really get to go to the parks that often at all. So in fact, it is a little bit more convenient for them to get Disney Plus. They can use it a lot more. It's a lot better usage to them than getting that free park privilege. Moving on to Spokesmain. I don't know a lot about the situation. It seemed to appear on Twitter and then fizzle back out. I'm really not sure what the end result was, if he spoke out about it. There isn't a lot of information on it at all. However, what I can figure out is that recently he did break up with his girlfriend. If you have no idea who this guy is, he is a YouTuber most famous for making this Old Town Road video, which took place in Disney World. 
He's a YouTuber, he does a lot of live streams on YouTube, he does have quite a few followers. After he broke up with his girlfriend recently, she did speak out on Twitter about physical abuse, verbal abuse, and financial abuse that she was getting from Spokesmate. Now, once again, this is all speculation. It was never really 100% confirmed by anyone, and I only saw a few tweets about it, so I'm not really exactly sure what happened, but here is the gist of what I saw. Apparently, there are four people that have come forward. Once again, I searched and I couldn't find more than his ex-girlfriend who'd come forward. Either way, there's another claim here saying that apparently people have been sending him money to make certain videos. He's just been pocketing the cash and not making those videos, which is actually heavily illegal. He also has a Disney Parks media status, which people were campaigning to get revoked at the time. Once again, this is all I know on this situation. I don't know more. I know that these allegations came up. There's been no proof with them, against them. I have searched. I searched the internet for a good half hour, and this is all I could find on this situation. So there seems to be some turmoil. I'm not sure if it got resolved. I'm really not sure on the situation. Moving on, the holidays have arrived in Disney World. All the decorations have gone up. They look absolutely gorgeous. Some of the most notable features, Chip and Dale got some enhancements to their costumes. They're just adorable. They were adorable before, but now they have these little lights and antlers on their onesies and it is just perfect. In addition to the Grand Floridian Gingerbread House, the Wilderness Lodge also got this cabin in their lobby this year. All of the Disney resorts decorate up for the holidays. The Grand Floridian is usually the one to go to because they have a life-size gingerbread house. I think the Wilderness Lodge is going to be an amazing destination this year as well due to the house they put there. The first Christmas party has happened. Christmas is in full swing in Disney World. One of my absolute favorites is Gertie, the dinosaur in Hollywood Studios. She got her little Christmas hat and Christmas bulb. She's my absolute favorite. If you do not know the story of Gertie, please go look it up. She has such a great history and I love that Disney, even though she's not even a Disney character, Disney has incorporated her in the parks just because she's such an important part to animation history. ABC is also running three Disney holiday specials this year. So starting with The Wonderful World of Disney Magic Holiday holiday celebration on Thursday, November 28th from 8 till 10 p.m. I'm not really sure what this is going to entail. I assume maybe a Disney holiday movie. We then have the Disney Channel holiday party at Walt Disney World premiering Friday, December 13th. This is going to be on the Disney Channel, obviously. This is going to showcase a lot of the Disney parks. It's probably going to be like one of those advertisement specials, but also one of those ones that, you know, every Disney fan is going to watch. There's probably going to be a lot of Galaxy's Edge included in there from what I assume. And then of course at 10 a.m. on December 25th, we have the annual Disney World Christmas Day Parade. I'm probably gonna cry. I love that parade. I watch it every single year. I know it is a holiday tradition for many families, so make sure you check it out. And finally, the Frozen soundtrack came out. Frozen comes out later this week. It is so exciting. Frozen 2 has been an awaited movie for a long time. It's going to be a huge box office hit. A ton of people are going to go see it. It's going to rise to number one quickly. I guarantee you the merch is going to come flying out. There's going to be a ton of Frozen. We are looking at the Frozen Apocalypse Part 2, everybody. If you haven't checked out the soundtrack, it rose to iTunes number one on the day of release. There's some great songs in there and I can't wait to see how they incorporate them into the movie. Comment down below if you have heard the soundtrack and what your favorite song is. Finally in news, and I think this is just really, really important to share, the Lady and the Tramp dogs recently took a visit to the Disneyland Park and just look how adorable they are. They took a photo with Pluto and I think it just it made my life. Finally, closing out, last Tea Tuesday, we discussed a situation where a Disney Twitter member had posted photos of cast members in backpacks. It was rumored that one cast member had got fired or termed from this situation. It's since been confirmed that 12 cast members did get termed from this situation. One of them named Abby did want to make a statement. She messaged me personally. We talked about it for a long time. She's the sweetest girl and it really does suck that this happened. Happened. I did actually also reach out to Shmoofy for a comment. I actually did talk to him a little bit about the situation as well, but he did not want anything voiced online about it. So I totally respect that. However, Abby did come up with a statement, so I'm just going to read that out to you guys. It's just a little bit about what happened. So it says verbatim, Twitter user Shmoofy gets a lot of attention and feedback for his outraged tweets about how awful Walt Disney World is or whatever. 
When he tweeted the photo of the cast members wearing backpacks walking between shifts, he actually got a lot of pushback and negative responses from both CMs and non-CMs, so I think he was frustrated and insecure. He was tweeting, I'm just joking, don't take me seriously, while also tweeting screenshots of the responding CMs to the Walt Disney World guest relations account. I worked with the cast members photographed, and they are still working there, thankfully. However, I was terminated for responding to the tweet. While the tweet wasn't aggressive, it was directed at Schmoofy and didn't share secret Walt Disney World info, it did contain a non-family friendly word telling my co-workers, don't feel shitty. This was rightfully considered inappropriate and I was terminated. My leader said, anything you say as a cast member makes you a public figure. So if you say something anywhere, it's the same as saying it to a guest on stage. I'm not sure if I agree with that and it's not included in my contract. I checked but I do understand the decision made. I just wish the situation went differently and Shmoofy didn't report everyone who disagreed with him in a public forum. So that's what Abby had to say. She was terminated and left her Disney College program. It sucks the whole situation happens. When it comes down to it, unfortunately, when you are a cast member, say something nice or don't say anything at all is what it comes down to. People do get termed for stuff they say online and it's better just to play it safe than sorry. Disney will not hesitate before terming someone, especially when it affects their reputation. So just be really, really careful. So thank you to everyone who watched this video. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tea Tuesday. There are many to come in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, turn on those notifications to know when I do post a new video. I post videos all the time. Thank you again so much for watching this one and have a magical rest of your day.